Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Denver, Colorado's Blood Incantation Interdimensional Extinction EP on Dark Descent Records. This will be made available again the same day that the new Spectral Voice full length goes out for pre-order. You can pre-order Interdimensional Extinction, Star Spawn, Spectral Voice, Necrotic Doom, the split with Blood Incantation, Spectral Voice, pretty much everything. If you're a fan of Blood Incantation and Spectral Voice, you'll be able to get your hands on again in case you missed out. So keep your eyes open for July 31st, Dark Descent Records. Get this shit if you don't already. It's fucking so good. Do not pay $50 on Discogs for a cassette version of this EP. Just wait a couple days, okay? But um, today, I would like to go over German Technical Death Metal Masters, pretty much. Obscura, I'm gonna be going over their first two albums, Retribution and Cosmogenesis. And we'll see which one, you know, why this doesn't bore me to tears. While a lot of tech death bands really, I feel, put on the snooze, these are something a little bit different. And there's a lot of reasons why, like, I can listen to these albums and not be like, like, okay, I get it, you can play guitar, like, Jesus fucking Christ. This is, you know, fucking kick ass. Like, it has memorable fucking parts, like, Ne like, a lot of this really reminds me of, like, Necrophages, like, Onset the Putrefication and fucking Epitaph. And there's a reason why. It's because this is, and it's the reason that got me interested in, in this band to begin with. And thanks to Garth for making this happen, party on. But, um, this is a reissue, and, um, this originally came out self-released in 2004. Then was, you know, put out again in 2006 and then Relapse Records in 2010. Put it out and with all new artwork, which is super fucking sick because it's like a wormhole inside of this like hive fucking galaxy or starship. It's really fucking amazing artwork in here. And like if you're a fan of later era death, you know, cynic, atheist you know shit like that then you are going to love this and especially like spawn of possession necrophages um decrepit birth post um and time begins like when they got all technical and stuff but pretty much these germans know what the fuck they're doing musically and really really fucking it's insane what they pull off on here and even throw in three fucking killer, killer fucking cover songs. You have a Morbid Angel cover of God of Emptiness, and yeah, it's not as heavy as the original, but it still fucking sounds sick coming from these guys. You have a death cover, which is a lot more, you know, in tune with what these guys are doing, and that is Lack of Comprehension. And then you have Suffocation, Synthetically Revived which is a badass fucking song and it just kind of gets fucked up by these guys but at the same time it's just them putting their own you know two cents into the song and they make it a lot less brutal and a lot more technical and normally that would like piss me off but they kind of made it their like own tune and obscure is one of those bands where if you didn't know this is you know, pretty much Muhammad's backing band when he used to tour with Necrophages in the earlier, you know, 2000s. And they came together and made their own project and it kicks fucking ass. And Retribution is a great debut, just straight up, you know, sci-fi driven fucking technical death metal and it's badass. Like, uh, you have a track Humankind, Nothing, Unhinged, None Shall Be Spared, Alone, Him to a Nocturnal Visitor, Hate Anthem, Exit Life, Sentiment, and then you have the three cover tracks, 
And like I said, this is kick ass, and this is the reissue. The artwork that, you know, Lando did is amazing. And yeah, it's super sick. I like the original artwork, but this is just a lot, like, like it's really, really well done. I'm sure it looks great on vinyl as well, like 12 inch, but this is some sick shit. If you're a fan of Tech Death, then like, you know, this is pretty much all you really need. Like, I mean, those Summer Slaughter tours are whatever. It's normally just a bunch of deathcore bands that just happen to have technical death elements. But on here, I can actually hear some of like the Time Ghoul, like fucking, you know, inspiration and whatnot, where, and Cynic, you know, of course, along with Atheist when it comes to some of like the jazzier bass parts. And of course, like, fucking Cryptopsy and Atheist, which I already said, but a Cryptopsy and Death. And when I'm talking about Death, I am talking about Human and Later Error Death. Like, do not expect some Scream Bloody Gore or Leprosy stuff on here. This is straight up Tech Death. And next up is the beginning of a trilogy. An actual trilogy um, of concept records from Obscura, and the, this is the first one, Cosmogenesis on Relapse Records, and again, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Sorry I do not have vinyl copies of these, but I still would like to discuss it with you because, you know, I think you guys might like this, this release right here, if you have not heard it already and you're a fan of, you know, out there death metal when it comes to stuff about the stars and, you know, the cosmos in general, it's fucking sick. And just if you're a fan of, you know, necrophagist, late period death, cynic, atheist, you know, yeah, you have pretty much gore guts for fuck's sakes. I mean, they're named, they named their band after pretty much when Gore Guts decided to become a technical death metal band and yeah to live up to a band name like that is no easy task so these Germans fuck yeah like I was so stoked when I first heard this because I didn't hear Retribution first I heard Cosmogenesis first so I was very very impressed and this whole package is insane by the way like, the artwork is just fucking gorgeous. You know, sci-fi, outer space driven, cool ass stuff. I'll go over song titles and everything in a second. But just super, super sick technical death metal. And like I said, it's the type of technical death metal that doesn't put you to sleep. And like, it's just fucking sick. And that's all you really need, like, is some originality and some fucking kick-ass riffs. And, you know, pretty much, you know, I understand these guys can play their instruments better than most bands. And they don't really rub it in your face as much as you would think. Like, a band like, let's say, Animals are, whatever, Animals are as leaders or whatever. That fucking stupid, I, I'm sorry, I hate that fucking band. Like, all I hear is, like straight up of Mashuga ripoff. And I don't like Mashuga to begin with, yeah. <gasps> oh my god, you don't like Mashuga! Yeah, it sounds like new metal to me, I'm sorry. Apples and oranges, like, you know, you have your taste in music, I have mine. Like, yeah, there's some sick songs on Chaos Sphere, but all I hear in my brain is new metal. And it, it just bothers me, and it always has. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Meshuggah. Like, a lot of people are always surprised when they hear that, but I am a fan of this obscure album, Cosmogenesis, and it's just fucking killer. Like, for a second LP, I mean, there is some ultra clean production, and usually, you know, I'm a fan of the fucking filthy, or just, you know, when it comes to a band like Blood Incantation, like, this is some killer fucking out there death metal and they just managed to capture the old school aspect of it, add the production into like this atmospheric element and just fucking nail it on the head and it's awesome. Like this fucking record's so goddamn good and I it 
I can't wait for you guys that don't have a copy of Blood Incantations, Interdimensional Extinction, and fucking Star Spawn to get physical copies so you can understand why it means so much to me, that band to begin with. But let's get back to talking about Obscura's Cosmogenesis. And we have 10 tracks here. Um, the Anti-Cosmic Overload, Choir of Spirits, Universe Momentum, Incarnated, Orbital Elements, Desolate Spheres, Infinite Rotation, New Spheres, Cosmogenesis, and Centric Flow. And like I was saying, most of the lyrics here are based on outer space and whatnot, and are pretty fucking cool actually, like to be honest, and are very, very intelligently written, and that's fucking all you really need, seriously imagination and fucking not just being like hey check me out <laughs> like that's cool and all but like something like artificial brain you know they add this atmosphere and all this other cool shit to something that otherwise you know might not be so special and I, I feel like you know Obscura really, really, they did something different here than your average tech death band. Like, a lot of people might be like, well, it's just like the faceless on steroids. Like, um, no. I'm sorry, but no. This just, to me, sounds like the Necrophagist album we never got after Epitaph. And, you know, I'm sorry that Muhammad had to have a mental breakdown, but there might be a new Necrophagist record in the future who the fuck knows i mean but this is seriously the closest band you're going to get to that sound that you know if you're a necrophagist fan that you're not going to get any closer than you know early obscura like their 2011 release it's it is what it is but these caught my attention a long time ago and I never really owned them physically until recently, and I dove in pretty much head first and really, really enjoyed it. Especially some of the cryptopsy sounding parts on here, like very, very audible bass, super jazzy atheist style either. Even like some of it reminds me of like Mother Man by Atheist, like, and just, you know, the jazz tone. It's just sick and Normally, I could give a fuck about progressive tech death, but this is something awesome, and, you know, I'm not sure if they're on those, uh, you know, Summer Slaughter tours anymore or whatever. Those tours are what they are. I mean, they get kids into death metal, and for the most part, it's of the technical variety, so having a band like Obscura on a tour like that, that's fucking cool for the band because they get new fans and shit like that, and that's good for any band. So, if I had to choose between Retribution or Cosmogenesis, I'm gonna have to honestly go with Cosmogenesis, just because they butchered that Suffocation song on that bonus track on here to where it kind of bothered me a little bit. But everything on here is pretty much fucking fire on your um, normal nine tracks and then 10 on Cosmogenesis. But Retribution is totally worth your time as just a standalone album. Forget about the bonus tracks except for the Death and uh, the Morbid Angel one. Like I said, it's just interesting. But the Death cover is fucking sick sounding. Lack of comprehension, badass stuff, obscure Retribution on Relapse Records. And Obscura Cosmogenesis, again, on Relapse Records. Kick-ass tech death from Germany. Mach schnell. That just means fast, I think. But, uh, yeah, good stuff here. And um, if you're a fan of Necrophagist, you know, I cannot recommend this enough for your collection and your ears pleasure obscura and we have been blasting blood incantation interdimensional extinction ep on dark descent records so fucking good subterranean eon hell yeah and uh yeah thanks for watching guys stay fucking death stay brutal and thanks for watching hails